the best stories are told when the author is destroyed and the characters have taken over. Okay. I need a room. A white room. The room is completely white. No doors. No windows. Doesn't appear that there is a way out. It's just white. Now I need a villain. Oh, what's she wearing? Black shirt, black hoodie. There's got to be a way to make you cooler. Black shades. Nah. Oh, God. That's no good. How about a uh, red shirt? Yeah, that's better. I need you to be more... Oh, what's the word? Malicious. Yeah, that's good. Malicious. I'm going to write that down. And I'm going to name you after a famous book. I'm going to call you... Body. Ha, that's good stuff. There's definitely something wrong with you. You have a nervous twitching. You just keep twitching like you're not comfortable in your own skin. Creepy crawlies or something. You do that when you talk, even when you sit. Did you talk to everybody? Yes. All nine women are coming, and I sent out the job interview invitations. All right. Well done. Do you have your pill? Oh, yes. Right here. All right. I'm going to take that. It's gonna kick in pretty quick. You'll be all right. All right. All right, don't forget, when you get into the white room, set it up completely and be ready to go. I know. <laughs> I know you do. You know what? This would be a perfect time for a plot twist. She's lying there, helpless, in a deep, dream subconscious state unable to really figure out why you're here or how to get out let's see you're here but I can kill you and you'll die in the white room what will happen then my goodness if you only knew that I'm I'm kneeling down next to you with a knife Baiting whether I'm gonna slice your face, cut your eyes, cut your mouth. Maybe plunge the knife into your chest. Or maybe use the knife this way. white walls absorbing her scream. Nah, it's too sadistic. The audience won't like that. There are so many ways to kill you. It's got to pick the, the perfect way. Poison? Hmm. Beat you to death? <laughs> no, come on. Oh, I know. A gun. I could shoot you in the chest. Hmm, maybe the head. Ugh, holy crap, that sucks. Man, I'm like the worst writer ever. I need something more personal, more... Like, I want to be able to feel the life being just sucked out of her body. Ooh, I know. Since it's a white room, we'll use a... White pillow. Here we go. His body dies in the white room. She transforms into... Hmm, 
this.
What if nine young women were invited to a job interview with the promise of $100,000 in cash? It's real simple. They just couldn't mention the person who invited them. They received an invitation, went to the job interview, and took a pill showing their trust. Then they entered the white room. No one trusted anyone. There was a dead body on the floor. The cash stuffed in a briefcase then what what do you do how do you get the cash how do you get out of the white room well welcome to your job interview I really hate this part how do you press restart on a broken heart they say it just takes time but depression and aggression have me losing my mind because this is it I feel like caving in in the bottom of the pit. Here's a long fall. These film sized words will haunt you all. Way hard to sleep. Your words in the throat. So while they ask is that you don't choke. Speak from your heart. I don't say your word. And if we fall apart, at least you were heard. I suppose we can get started. Let's introduce ourselves. My name is Scarlett. Alice. Carrie. I'm Gidget. Uh, Julia, Madeline, Nancy, I'm Tess. Are we waiting on somebody else named Body? I think there's only going to be nine of us filling in these chairs today. Are you a manager or one of us? I'm here for the job interview. So, you're one of us? Actually, I arrived here early, looked around, then decided to leave. Who's supposed to be in the empty seat? I guess it's someone we're supposed to call body. I'm taking psychology in college. A white room like this, it means something. Scarlet begins to second guess herself. Well, how does this white room make you feel? Nervous? Afraid? Confused? Claustrophobic, depressed, anxious. I guess if I had to pick a word, terrified. It makes me feel peaceful. How all of you responded is exactly how you feel about death. Wait, what did you say? An all white room like this represents death. Everyone stop, this is getting us nowhere. If you have better things to do, then leave. But my guess is that you all are gonna stay. I seriously don't think there's a point to this psychological test. Wait, you're not supposed to say that line. I know, silly. Let me give you an update on what's going on. I'm Body, and this is Heidi. Everyone thinks they're talking to Heidi, but really, they're talking to me. Heidi? Me. Heidi. Me. Heidi. Body immediately starts talking to the audience. <laughs> what? What did you just do to me? <laughs> Listen, you idiot. Scarlet thinks she's talking to Heidi. Bah, 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 bah. Put Heidi back. <laughs> I am so going to kill you in this story. And put my color back. Bah, bah. Everyone can leave. No one's keeping you here. Hmm. That's what I thought. No one's going to leave. Why are there a bunch of white sheets on the floor? <sighs> okay. At this point, Heidi mentions the briefcase. What's the briefcase for? That sucked. Do it again.
introduce the briefcase. Let me ask this simple question once again. Does anyone know who Body is? Doesn't any of you have anything to say? Or are you just gonna sit there and avoid eye contact? What do you want us to say? There's a freaking dead body on the floor. And yet here you are, sitting in your chair, waiting for this job interview to continue. Whatever. Does anyone wanna leave? Or at least, Say something? Actually, I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? I met so many people. I mean, it's possible I met body. I don't know. Well, does that body on the floor look familiar or not? There's a chance I met body, but I really don't care. Get back underneath the sheet, you're ruining the story. This is getting us nowhere. You're being quiet over there. Did you know Body? I'm not gonna say anything that might get me in trouble. It's a fair question, and frankly, the reason why we're all here right now. I'm not gonna say. Scarlet shakes her head at Tess. If you have nothing to hide, then why are you here? Yet, here you are. I'm not leaving. Why? I have my reasons. Maybe it's the money. What's the money for? If I had to guess, all of you know what this money is here for. As I told you on the phone, you can call me Body. Why Body? It's the title of a Stephen King novel. I'll call you Alex. Weird, but okay. What's this all about? I'm gonna propose an idea that'll get you $100,000. I don't understand. Understand what? What you're talking about? I'm working out this deal with someone we'll call Tess. What kind of deal? The kind of deal that's gonna get you $100,000. How am I gonna get $100,000 from this deal? What do I have to do? Two things. You can't admit that you ever met me. Of course, that's the second thing. And you can't admit that we ever had this conversation. Whoever this test person is, I'm gonna have to meet her. Yeah, um, then I'm assuming we don't have a deal since you're gonna talk to someone else that we, you know, had this conversation. To be honest, this all seems a bit shady and I don't wanna end up in prison. All right, let's simplify this. You can't admit that we ever had this conversation or you can't admit that we ever met. Yeah, sure. Is there anything else? No, that's it. I told each of the young women a similar story, all while dropping a hint of shade about the other. Don't trust Nancy. Don't trust Madeline. Don't trust Gidget. Don't trust Alice. Don't trust Heidi. As for me, call me Body. I promised I'd fight for this. But the best wasn't good enough. Now I think about the past when times get rough. Forever starts with a single kiss. Losing track of time. Somehow she's still on my mind. When did I become a stranger? Become someone you didn't need. Where was I in danger? 
of not being the one to lead you away. Another day we found love on the 29th of May. Take my love and my trust and no second thought. Take my heart, it's a must because it's all I've got. To be fine, to be sane, give me no cane to take away the pain. I fall asleep right next to you. Now I'm stuck and I don't know what to do. Hey. I promise I'd fight for this. But us wasn't good enough. Now I think about the past when times get rough. Hey. Forever starts with a single kiss. Very soon, you'll receive an invitation. It's real simple. You can't admit that we had this conversation or that you ever met me. Then, you'll receive $100,000. Did everyone have a meeting with Body about a month ago? Are you admitting that you did? Tell me, Tess, how much money were you promised? What will happen if I walk out this room right now? I suppose you'll enter a hallway. That's not what I mean and you know it. I'm asking if any harm will come to me. Unless you slip on the hallway floor, I think you'll be okay. Now get out of my face. Are you saying that if we leave, we could be killed? I guarantee if any of you will live in the next hour, day, week, month, or year. Are you saying that you found Body already dead? Who do you think is the killer? I don't know. How about you tell us when you met Bonnie? Are you the one that sent us these invitations for this job interview? Of course not. I was invited just like you. Did you examine Bonnie? Was there blood, cuts, bruises? I didn't examine Bonnie, but from what I can see, there was no blood. Do you have any information about this job interview that could actually help us? I don't understand why all of you are coming after me. I was just a person who came early. That's it. You're the only one who came in early, left, and came back again. Then maybe that makes me the perfect person for this job. Let's not forget that you took control of this room the moment you arrived. There are certain people in here who are trying to control this room. Enough of this sideshow. What are we going to do? Because I don't see anyone rushing out the door. There's nine of us here. $900,000 in the briefcase. We can all each take our share and walk out of here. I'm curious what Scarlett has to say about this. What I think? is that we have a dead body, $900,000 in cash, and a bunch of young, curious women. I think it was Madeline, but that doesn't matter. Which makes it obvious that all of us have the same connection to the cash and body. Or all of us just have a similar connection, which makes things more complicated. Do you have a connection to body and the money? I don't know. Do I? But money has evil written all over it. But having said that, it's none of your business why I'm here. Actually, while you're in this room, it is our business. Say what you want, but I don't need anything. Dear Lord, can we have Heidi back? Something is keeping you from walking away. How long do we have to stay here? Haven't we proved ourselves worthy of that damn cash? It's a great question. I know for a fact that Juliet killed Body. Okay, yes, I had a conversation with Body. Everybody happy now?
What did Juliet see? Something's been bothering me this whole time. Did you negotiate the deal with Body? Me. What? I'm just gonna say it, everybody. I think Nancy killed Body. Why would you think that? Do you have proof? Body told me. Really, smartass? I know for sure it was you that killed Body. I know for a fact that Heidi did it because Body told me. Wait, I, I didn't admit to anything. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! My body is distracted. Carrie drops a bomb. I know. Nancy did it because body told me. <laughs> no one can see what body was doing. She was just snatching these young women one by one. Get out of my room! One by one, they watched their teammates being hauled to the side of the room by some invisible being placed under a white sheet in a symbolic manner of death. Is nobody getting their hundred thousand dollars that we were all promised?
Interesting. Tess is getting up. just to kill me? the money. Body met with me. I know she met with you. Whoops. Big mistake, Alice. Well, it's over. We made a deal, and I'm walking out of here with $100,000 cash, no more, no less. No, you're dead. Really? Because I didn't admit to anything. But you did. N no, I... Oh, honey, it's okay. I'm just smarter than you. Nothing's gonna happen. I'll tell you exactly how to get out of here.
Tess breathed in the fresh night air, letting it seep into her lungs. She outlasted Scarlet, outlasted them all. She had won. The best stories are told when the author is destroyed and the characters have taken over. Okay. I need a room. A white room. The room is completely white. No doors, no windows. Doesn't appear that there is a way out. It's just white. This is Emily Margot from Action Night News, Rosewater, Ohio. This just in author Ron Knight has now been missing for 48 hours. His whereabouts are still unknown. Also, in the last 48 hours, nine young women have also been reported missing. After speaking with friends and family, we found that all nine women have one thing in common. They stated they were going to a job interview. We will keep you updated with any further developments. This is Emily Margo, Action 9 News, Rosewater, Ohio. So that was the fiction story. Here's a special non-fiction bonus story of what really happened. All right, slowly roll, just a little bit more. Yeah, a little slower. And scene three B, take three. All right, slowly roll, good hard reaction. Action, scene three. Hey, I'm Ron Knight. This movie was put together with a $2,000 budget, first-time actors, and a crew working together for the first time. Amazing. It took a lot of courage for these actors to get in front of the camera for the first time, get in a studio for the first time. And uh, I'm going to tell you, when that clapper smacks in front of your face for the first time, you forget everything you've done in life. But they handled it, and uh, we had a blast doing it. So here's a great look at behind the scenes of job interview. It's amazing to think that we did the entire kill scene, which we just kept the cameras rolling the entire time, and we broke it up into about 30 scenes. All right, kill scenes, take one. Yeah. Let's put the money. Let's put the money. Body met with me. I know he met with you. Let's put the money. Body left met with me. I know he met with you. Yep. Let's put the money. Let's put the money. Action. Let's put the money. What is it? Uh, <laughs> body guy with me. me. I know, I know he meant with you. Alright, you're good. Okay. Right. Let's split the money. Let's split the money. To body. Start over here. <laughs> body met with me. Let's split the money. Body met with me. I know he met with you.
Alright, ready? We can proceed to get a shot. Ready? Action. Let's split the money. Body met with me. I know he met with you. I know for a fact that Heidi did it, because Body told me. No, 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 no. I know Nancy did it because Body told me. Get out of my room! Action! Did Body meet with me just to kill me? Pause here? Yeah. You're doing good. It's fine. Ready? Shake a little bit too. You're nervous. Action. Beautiful. All right, you're out. <laughs> Just come on. Okay, yeah, stare at that disc ball no matter what. Sometimes I'd yell at the actors for right, no reason. Here we go.
Cut. Just before we were gonna take this shot, cameraman got a muscle cramp. If you listen closely, you can hear him in the background and watch the actor's reaction. Four twelve, take one. Probably our biggest problem shooting the movie is the girls had the giggles and trying to get the timing down. Do you have proof? It's just baffling to think that these first time actors get in front of the camera for the first time and the student for the first time and just became pros. That's astonishing to me. Good. Yeah, that's good. 274A, take two. And settle in action. How am I going to get $100,000 from the steal? What will I have to do? Two things. Yeah, I'll hold. You need your, your head's turning way too much. Uh, uh, and you're too far into the frame, you're almost frame. covering her up. Oh, OK. Do you want to go from the top? Take it back a couple lines. Most of the actors were absolutely terrified before and during, but they fought their fears. So you have to respect that. This is getting us nowhere. Well, you're doing quiet over there. Can we start over? Remember, this all took place in one room. That could be easy for these young women just to sit there all day and fight their fears and do an amazing job. But they did it. Positions. Yeah, you didn't have to center. You center with your shot. You just had it off just a little there. And when she moves, you know. All right, for that, I'm going to say. We're still rolling. You cut shot or you still rolling? No, we're still rolling. All right, ready? 370, 372, take one. Action. I know for a fact that Juliet killed Body. Okay, yes, I had a conversation with Body. Everybody happy now? Great.
So, you're one of us. Yeah, cut. Team 423, take one. Action. Carrie, tell us what you see. One more, one more action. Carrie, tell us what you see. Carrie, tell us what you see. There it is. Action. Unless you slip on the hallway floor, I think you'll be okay. Now get out of my face. Our leader. Now get out of my face. Our whole line leader. Unless you slip on the floor. Unless you slip on the hallway floor, I think you'll be okay. Now get out of my face. Do you, you want me to like, as she's talking, maybe I could cross my arm type thing? Uh, Not like start that. at my crotch. We didn't go, okay. just say we are. This is just her. Okay. Unless you slip on the hallway floor. All right, here we go. Hard, go. Unless you slip on the hallway floor, I think you'll be okay. Now get out of my face. Go ahead. This look okay? You all right? Yeah. Make sure you slow that line down a little bit. Say it clear. Don't ever tell me what to do. Again. No, I'm talking to her. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a no? <laughs> All right. All right, whenever you're ready. Hey, Kevin. probably wondering how we did this knife scene and the knife scene where I put the knife on body's face. Well, the knife was real, but the blade was dulled down. So I couldn't get hurt and body couldn't get hurt. such an important actor in this movie that absolutely nobody was listening or paying attention yeah. while I was doing my scene. I don't think that even the cameraman was paying attention.
Fifteen. Two seventy-four. A. Action. Unless you slip on the hallway floor, I think you'll be okay. Now get out of my face. All right, one more time. Unless you slip on the hallway floor on your way out. Wait. Unless you slip on the hallway floor. No, what is you after that? I, I think you'll be okay. Okay. Unless you slip on the hallway floor, I think you'll be okay. Now get out of my face. The actor that had the most lines and the most pressure, well, that was Victoria Day, or better known as Scarlett. Scene 545, take two. Action. Before you go, you should take some money. It's sitting there for a reason. Scott. Scene 579, take four. It may seem like walking, uh, looking at stuff is easy on camera, but uh, no, it's not. And Victoria did an amazing job with a lot of people, you know, in this room, looking at her to do well, and she took care of business. I'm so sorry. I feel like I got like half the word out. Sorry, sorry. Keep, keep rolling. Okay. Go back to the Start from the beginning. And I like how you did that. That was great. Hold on. All right, Todd. Scene 5. These women are absolutely an example to others. They fought their fears, not knowing what to expect, not knowing exactly what they were doing, but they did it. and. That's how you get somewhere in life. You can't do the same thing over and over and over again. You gotta, you gotta shake it up. You gotta, you gotta take a risk. And that's exactly what they did. I am so proud of every one of them. I really hate this part, how do you press restart on a broken heart? They say it just takes time, but depression and aggression have me losing my mind. Because this is it, I feel like caving in in the bottom of this pit. Here's a long fall, these film sauce words will haunt you all. Way hard to sleep, your words in the throat so wall of asses that you don't choke. Speak from your heart, I don't say your word, and if we fall apart, at least you were heard. I promise I'd fight for this. But us wasn't good enough Now I think about the past when times get rough Forever starts with a single kiss Losing track of time Somehow she's still on my mind When did I become a stranger? Become someone you didn't need? 
When was I in danger of not being the one to lead you away? Another day we found love on the 29th of May. Take my love and my trust and no second thought. Take my heart, it's a must because it's all I've got. To be fine, to be sane, give me no vacation and take away the pain. I fall asleep right next to you. Now I'm stuck and I don't know what to do. Hey, I promise I'd fight for this. But us wasn't good enough. Now I think about the past when times get rough. Hey, Forever starts with a single kiss Losing track of time Somehow she's still on my mind